6 o'clock in the morning, everybody's dead, watching some ridiculousness, and uh, we're all hurting in places that we shouldn't be hurting, some weird places, but I'm about to head up to the mountain and uh, hopefully relocate these all dead and make a game plan. Today's our last day, so last chance. All right guys, we have started our hike in. Got about a three mile hike in uh, to where we could possibly get into position to uh, find them. But we just gotta hope that they're still there where they were this morning, where we glassed them up again. They were about three or 400 yards past where they were last night. Seems like they just keep working the these ledges around. So hopefully they're kind of bedded down where we last saw them this morning that was like two hours ago so it took us about two hours to get to here so we just got to get out there and find them and uh, hope that we can get a shot off we just got into about 10 elk a couple spikes and a couple cows I didn't see any big bulls but there's elk tracks everywhere in here pretty cool
more deal and get on that little bench. That's facing us. Make sure I'm on the right one. There's a good one eating gray brush. He's broadside to us right now. He's what? He's broadside to us, up to the right of that one with the other. Yeah. Now the one to the left of him. If that one at the yucca presents itself a little bit nicer here. And you, you want me to shoot the one above him? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Did we hit any? Did I hit? Yeah, mine just fell. Mine's down. I can't tell. When I just shot, it's like tumbled over a brush. I can see mine falling up. My excitement level is like through the roof, but I can't show it because Chris is pretty upset. He, uh, we look back at the footage and the first shot was just below the ram that he was shooting at. And unfortunately my ram was out of frame, but I saw him tip over. So, um, Chris shot a couple more times. so. He saw one, one of his shots that he thinks he just knocked it over because he shot and it just 
like disappeared so he either went over a ledge super fast or he just knocked one down so we got a long way to go to get to him but man i'm pumped we're up here in uh, about 8,000 feet so we got a lot of work ahead of us and it's going to be a heck of a climb to get out of here but hope you guys are enjoying it we're going to go uh, make Chris happier and find his so we'll see you over there so. All right, let's get over well here. some craziness just happened Chris did hit one and uh, we wrapped around to come down to the one that we can obviously see and he was sitting there and before Chris could get a shot he ran around got all the way on that side Chris's gun is obviously off because um, he shot him at like 200 yards and it was to the right so he ran over that peak um, but me and Eric are gonna get to work on uh, this guy we're all gonna go down there check him out and then I think Chris may walk around and see if he can find him bedded or just maybe try to find maybe try to find him uh, but we'll see what happens. Well, the Christensen Arm 65 PRC did the job. Maven scope. And uh, the shots that y'all were watching were actually through the my Maven spotter. So I thought those birds were Chris whistling. See his head sticking up. He's big bodied for sure. Yeah. Epic view. For sure, I saw big chaps whenever I saw him jump. I mean, he has, she has chaps. She's an old, she's an old nanny. We straight up stuff right here, boys. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's an old one right there. That's crazy that the nannies get that big. Oh yeah, she got a huge. I mean, look how y'all got to see this hole in the back of her horn. She's old. Oh no, that's a bullet hole. Really? Yeah, yeah, it goes through right here, just a little hole, and then it blows out the back. God. That is wild. You must have, that must have been one of yours. No, that's a small bullet. You think that's, yeah, it, it looks old. Dude, that is super old. Yeah, Come look at this, Eric. So, that's the hole. And then the back side. Crazy. That is wild, man. That is not, that's not from us for sure. That's too old. That is crazy. <clears throat> and somebody else has hunted this Audad, this exact Audad, and uh, got her down. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys for all the help. Awesome. Uh, of course. Chris, Chris is going to go try to find his. And uh, I'm gonna get to work and this girl, and uh, it's gonna be a heck of a hike out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh man, I'm beat, guys. Five days of this will get you, but it's so worth it. But this view is insane. About to uh, clean her up real quick, and uh, like I said before, long pack out out of here, but. It'll feel good when we get back to the truck.
everything is cleaned up tag is on and uh letting the meat cool for a minute then we're gonna put them in these bags pack them out go meet up with chris he's over there looking for his so what a great day beautiful day in god's country You ready? Almost here. I just like it when it everything's even whenever you put your pack on. Totally. You can only see my arm because I'm uh got my hands full, but we are making our way up. Meet up with Chris. And then we gotta make our way up again. And then after that, it's pretty nice. Should be able to pretty much be going downhill from there. But a long way back. Finally, we've made it back. I'm dead. We, uh, we're done. I'm going home. I just wanna take a shower. See you guys in the kitchen whenever we're cooking this bad boy up. Well guys, we are back from that awesome hunt. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, sorry for the lack of enthusiasm whenever uh, I was at my sheep. I felt so bad for Chris and uh, I know he's probably watching this and he probably feels bad again that I'm mentioning it, but um, it was an awesome hunt uh, with great guys and I can't wait to do it again. I'm um, going to try to do that hunt every year. It is a blast. It is a hard, hard hunt. And um, it will definitely put you, it will definitely test your limits. But I have some, I actually gave all of my odd meat to Chris because uh, he usually shoots a cow elk every year for his family, to feed his family. And he did not get to shoot one this year. And part of that reason was because he was helping me mule deer hunt and kill my elk. So I gave him all the meat from my odd ad, but this is actually, um, the audit I shot last year for the hunt giveaway. And this is some of the best meat. Everybody's like, oh, Audad's terrible. I can't believe you eat sheep. I'm telling you right now, this stuff is amazing. It's 80-20 um, mixed with brisket. Um, so it's super delicious, but this is a meal that we do all the time. Um, if I'm not making burgers with it, I get everything uh, ground from my Audad. So I don't do like steaks or anything. You can, but it is pretty, um, chewy, so that's probably where it gets its bad rep. Um, but we're gonna do a little bit of Alfredo Audad tonight. Got some bow tie pasta, got some water heating up. Put that bow tie pasta in there. Got a little bit of olive oil in there as well. And then over here we have some olive oil heating up in this cast iron. We're gonna brown this meat up. I don't stab my foot with scissors. So I'm gonna cut this, drain some of that blood, and uh, then we're gonna brown this meat, season it up, and as soon as it's brown, um, the noodles will be about done. We'll add some Alfredo sauce, and that's all there is to it. Simple, delicious meal that feeds a lot of people. So throw that in there, break it up, brown it up, mix it up. And uh, we're gonna season it with a little bit of curd glitter, a little bit of garlic salt, and uh, a little bit of Italian seasoning. Garlic salt, a little bit of curd glitter red. This is my seasoning. If y'all are new to the channel, you can get it at mulletman.net. The link to this will be in the description. I have uh, fish and fowl and curd glitter red, which is for like red meat. Uh, it's really good in like chilies. And then a little bit of, this is just like Italian seasoning. It just has a bunch of mixed herbs uh, and it's super good. So put some of that in there. Mix this up, just keep browning it until everything's brown. And then once those noodles get done, we'll drain them, we'll strain them, add the noodles in with this and then put the Alfredo sauce in. And that's it. All right guys, noodles are drained. Drop those in. 
This is some just organic roasted garlic Alfredo sauce. It's actually really good with cream and mushroom, but we're out of cream and mushroom, so we're using this. Pour that in there. About half of that bottle. And I actually took some meat out um, so we can use it for another meal because it's just me and Angel, we don't need all that. Mix that around. That is perfect. And then I like to put a lot of black pepper on top and then top it off uh, with some uh, Louisiana hot sauce. So make a bowl. Just like that. A little black pepper. And some Louisiana hot sauce. Stuff's good right here. Now, taste test. I can already tell you what it's gonna taste like. 10 out of 10 for all dad. Um, obviously you mask the flavor of the meat with all this other stuff so you can't really taste it but this meal in general is a 10 out of 10, it's so good. Um, if you have kids, they'll love it. Super, super good and easy. Ten out of ten. No questions asked. That's delicious. So that is going to end the Audad series in New Mexico. Had a blast. Uh, thank you all for watching the three video series. Um, stay tuned for next year because we're doing that again. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.